Who are you? Pull over now! Stop! Stay there. Don't move. You'll regret it. I can't give up on life. Ray Ray and Halter are waiting for me at home. Trying to run? How far do you think you can get? Right after receiving surgery. <laughs> Help me! Help! She's Please lucky. Help me. Shall we pull her up? Zhou uh, 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 uh. how could you? Uh, uh, don't tell me you arranged all of this. Since you are destined to die, then accept your fate. You have to pay for all that you have done in the past. Mr. Hu, please don't worry. No one will know that it is your wife who donated her own liver to your father. Nothing is 100% sure. I have to think about it. Mr. Hu, relax. It'll be fine. Even though we're a private hospital, we earn our reputation by protecting the privacy of our VIP patients. You see, the truth is, everyone who enters the VIP ward must undergo a thorough background check, so there's no way the patient's info will be leaked. What's more, the medical review and liver transplant procedures have already been approved, 
and during the entire review process, all of the patient's information was kept secret. That's so? Yes, of course. Your wife is already a VIP, so her liver tests will all be kept confidential and her personal information won't be kept on our records. The nurses who serve your wife have all been specially selected because they're good at keeping secrets. So, Mr. Huh, you see, I've taken care of all of your concerns and made the proper arrangements. Please don't worry at all. I'll help with your daughter's medical fees. Don't worry at all. Here you are. Oh, my. Oh, my. Mr. Huh, thank you. Thank you. It's time to leave. Okay. See you tomorrow. See you. Goodbye. Thank you. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not sure how to solve this. Look at this. Easier to understand now? Mm, I'll try again. I, I understand it now. Hey, Xinyan, thank you. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Marry me. <laughs> what do you mean you love another girl? Tell me what's wrong with Li Jiayu. Why don't you like her? Dad, but I... Save it, son. Jiayu's father has helped our company a great deal. So if you don't marry Li Jiayu, I won't see you as my son anymore. Hello? Where are you? We'll keep the original plan tomorrow, right? Yes. The hospital has prepared everything, as we have requested. But I... still have a bad feeling. Shall we think of another way to handle this? What other way? It's the only way for us to be together. We can't lose this chance. But forcing a divorce right after her surgery... Isn't that a bit too much? Honey... Would Jia Yu easily divorce you after donating her liver to her dad? Relax. God knows that we truly love each other. So, he'll definitely help us. I know, honey. Don't worry. I've already made up my mind. Honey, I love you. Jiayu, you, you stood in the way of seeing Yan and me for ten years. And I've hated you for ten years. From tomorrow on, you will no longer keep us from being together. Having milk, fruit, and white cow bread for breakfast are your favorites, Ray Ray. Hmm? What's wrong? Hmm? Don't have an appetite? The bread is too ugly today. I don't want it. You really shouldn't say that. Otherwise, Mr. Cowbread will be angry. Mommy, why do you have to go travel alone? Why can't you bring me with you? All right now, Mum promised. Mm. I'd only be gone for three days. Don't cry, dear. Mm. Don't cry, huh? If you cry, your classmates will mm. laugh at you, won't they? I wasn't hmm? crying. My tears just came out because my eyes hurt. <laughs> I promise you. I will bring you tons and tons of toys when I come back. Hmm? You stay at home with Dad, Granny and Nanny and wait for my return. Okay, honey? Go on. Remember, behave yourself. Ray Ray, come. Get on the bus. Let's go. Go on.
Goodbye. See you, Ray Ray. Hello, darling. Hi, honey. There was an emergency meeting at work, so I slipped out first so you could sleep longer. I was supposed to send you to the hospital, but. <laughs> Never mind. A good wife is understanding of her husband. You're busy with work matters, but still thought of me. Thank you, darling. I should be the one to say thanks. I can't imagine the consequences if you weren't willing to donate your liver to my father. Thank you for your sacrifice. <sighs> no need for thanks. A family should always help each other. Thanking me so formally makes me feel a little bit embarrassed. To be honest, I'm afraid that the scar it leaves will make me less attractive. That's my biggest fear. Of course not. What are you thinking about? However, if you're worried, we can cancel it right now. <sighs> Thank you, darling. You are very considerate. But I want to do my duty and be a good wife and daughter-in-law. All right. I have to go check on my mom first, and then I'll go to the hospital. Let's keep this matter from your mother for now, or she'll worry. Also, let her know I've found several good apartments for her downtown. Once you've recovered, let's go check them out. Even though you're so busy with work, you're still thinking of me. Thank you, darling. Everything will be just fine. I'll go see you as soon as I'm done with work. All right. Take the file folder that has some important documents and cash out of the safe for me. You're always careless. Dad would scold you if he knew about that. I have to go. Remember, bring the folder to me. Mm. Hey, darling. I love you. Yeah, me too. <sighs> Playing the role of a good husband to her is really exhausting. Hey, Jayu. <sighs> Mom, come. Come over here. Okay. Sit down. Mm. I heard from Haozi that you're leaving to find your father. Jiayu, if someone asks you where you are, just say you left to visit your dad. I'm afraid if too many people know this, my father will eventually find out. You're his beloved daughter-in-law, so there's no way he would allow you to donate your liver. Oh. Well, you see, Mom. My friend told me that he saw my dad out of town, so I want to go see him. You should find him. Your father disappeared with all of your family's money. If you find him now, maybe you can get some of it back. <laughs> but father is having his surgery soon, so I may not be able to look after him. I apologize. That's okay. The doctor told me they found the youngest and healthiest liver. So don't worry, huh? <sighs> Jaya. Do you have any money now? It's quite urgent. How much? <laughs> Not much. One hundred thousand. Mom, I don't have that much on me. The money Hauser gives to me must cover my family's expenses. <sighs> what do you mean? Do you give the money from Halza to your family instead? No, Mom. One hundred thousand is not a very large amount. <laughs> Maybe in your mind you think I didn't officially marry your father-in-law, so you don't really care about me. If you viewed me as your mother-in-law, you would do your very best to give me that money. Don't get upset, Mom. Listen, I'll try my best. That's enough. I don't want your explanation. You've made me angry. Miss Wong, get me some headache pills. Yes. This family has gone too far now. Every time Mr. He's company was in any trouble, they used money from your family to solve it. Now your father is missing, and your family's in trouble. So they're so rude to you. What a terrible cold world. It's fine, Miss Wong. Huh? Miss Wong, my pills. Hurry. Yes, coming. Right, the folder.
Tiaming! 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 Have you seen this yet? I have. Wait, do you even know what I'm talking about? I'm not interested in celebrity weddings. What celebrity wedding? Look here. Lin Tianming, the successor of Marut Group, expands his coffee business as he prepares to take over the helm of Marut Group. Hey, when did you do this interview? <laughs> awesome. Here. Where's the chairman right now? Thanks. Got it. Tiaming! Wait for me! Let's go together! Look at you. When you went out before, you'd always dress to the night. We haven't met for a few days, but you didn't even wear lipstick. Seems I'm not important to you. I don't even know where I put all of my makeup. That's fine. I ordered some new things for you online. They should arrive tomorrow. Don't forget to pick them up. Waste of money. It's fine. Mum, I think you've lost weight recently. You should eat more. Later when Dad comes back, He'll be sad if his beautiful wife is all skin and bones from not eating well. Your father hasn't been in touch with us for a very long time now. Not again. <laughs> Relax, Mum. He'll come back for sure. Mm. Oh, that's right. I had a friend tell me that he saw Dad in the Philippines. So we should start preparing for his return. Mm. Besides, you are the hostess of our family. You have to stay strong because we need you. Also, Hao Tzu has found an apartment in the city for you and Jia Xing. Has he? Mm. We've had a lot of things to do recently, besides moving. The most important thing is to find a local university that will accept Jia Xing. Jia Yu, I never expected that there would be a day where I couldn't help you and even become your liability. Enough, Mum. Don't say that. Don't forget, you still have a good son-in-law. Our family is in trouble, and he not only cares, but has really been trying to help. Oh. This is what he asked me to give you. What's this? He intended to come with me today, but he's too busy with work matters. Use this for expenses. This is way too much. It's fine, Mum. Just take it. Mum. Let's eat. Eat more, okay? Come on. Yeah. Your husband's liver, even without his fatty liver disease, isn't suitable for your father-in-law. Only you are a good match. You sure you will do this for your father-in-law? Hmm. Hold the lift. Wait a moment. Hey, hold on. <sighs> what terrible manners. This is for VIPs. That woman was so loud and obnoxious. <laughs> Tianming, don't worry. I won't be like her at all after the two of us get married. I'm not in the mood to play jokes. I'm not joking at all. Tianming. It's the second hospital stay this year for the chairman. Do you know what? Back in ancient times, this would be the right time to arrange a happy event. Like a wedding. Maybe it would help him recover. <laughs> Have a meal with me after the meeting with the chairman. I know a great Italian restaurant nearby where we can have dinner. Their food is... I'm busy. 
Even if you're busy and such a workaholic, you still have to eat something, right? Jin Yunan. All right, fine. I won't say anything else and just stand behind you like a human prop. <laughs> hmm. Keep a close eye on this project. Understood. <sighs> Son, you're here. Uncle Lin, hello. I'm here too. <laughs> oh. Yanan? What are you doing here? Dad, I heard the chairman was feeling sick, so I came to visit him in the hospital with Tian Ming. What are you doing? Go back home now. Calm down, it's okay. <sighs> Secretary Liu, categorize these documents and then give them back to me tomorrow. Okay. Hey, Yana, come over here. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Lin, are you okay? Oh, I'm fine. I was scared when I heard you were here, and then insisted on coming with Tian Ming to visit you. <laughs> Oh, Uncle Lin, have a good rest. I'll visit you again next time. Hmm. Dad, Tian Ming wants some alone time with the chairman. Let's go out first. All right. We're leaving, Uncle Lin. We're leaving, mm. chairman. <sighs> mm. Just sit down and talk to me. I'll hurt my neck. Looking up at you? That article about my coffee shop expanding. Why did you do that? <laughs> oh, that article. Hey, isn't it only natural for business to expand one day? Since when did I become a project manager? <sighs> Come on, I raised you, you know. I fed you and clothed you, right? Can't I borrow your name for the business's sake? How can you be so selfish? I told you before, I would never step into your business in the future. A business doesn't require your feet, only your mind. Hey, also, half of the seed money for your coffee shop came from me, didn't it? That was my mom's legacy. I'm just fulfilling her wish. It has nothing to do with you. <sighs> Son... Are you planning to live your entire life in the past and waste all your time goofing off? How can you be so irresponsible? Hm. <laughs> Are you responsible? Ignoring your family for work? I... I have my own problems. Sometimes you have to look at the whole picture. All right, all right, save your words and just do as I tell you. What you owe my mother will never change no matter how many excuses you find. Also, I won't do what you say. It's my life. <sighs> Just get out. I'm tired. Secretary Liu. Secretary Liu! Yes? I'm going to rest. Make sure that I'm not bothered. People can't avoid making mistakes in life. I just... <sighs> Mom. I've just been in the economy class for 12 hours. My knees really hurt. Why must we take the airport bus now? The airport bus is very convenient. It's fast and comfy. I took it myself to come here earlier. It's basically the same thing as sitting in a limo. Same as a limo? Mm. How can it be just like a limo? Yeah. This is so annoying knowing that... Where's my sister anyways? Her brother finally comes back from abroad. And she doesn't send a car for me. Is she my sister? Jiaxia. Things are a lot different than they were before. Your dad has gone missing. And we don't have much money left now. You're the only man in our family now. Goodness. Mom. I literally just landed. Can you save the nagging till later?
Mom, is this our home now? I was shocked when I walked in. Do you call this a penthouse? What is this, Mom? It's only temporary, son. Just make do. <laughs> My sister's so selfish. She lives in a nice place, makes you live here? It's not like that. Your sister has troubles too. What troubles? Mom, what's going on here? It's so embarrassing. What can I tell my friends? Do I really have to tell them? My family's bankrupt and now I'm prince of the rooftop. Where's that? What's he doing now? You can just tell your friends. Nothing, okay? Huh? I've already told my friends to meet me at Oriental World tonight. But how can I meet them now? I should just jump off this building. I'm so ashamed of this now. What did you just say? Have you considered my feelings? Hmm. What's this? Spending money from your sister. Don't burn it all at once. Hey, you! Mom. I'm Jia Xing. The Prince of the Lees. Li Jia Xing. Everybody wants to meet me now that I'm back in China. What can I do with this pocket change? You can ask my sister for more when it's gone, okay? We can't waste any money. You should consider your sister's economic situation. Here you are. <laughs> I always knew my mother was the best in the world. All right. Where are you going? Don't wait for me tonight. Sleep early. See you. Bye bye. Don't drink I too know, much. Mom, I know. You still have jet lag. Got it. You look tired. I'm fine. What can we do? I know you've been busy with the merger and sleep at the office. <sighs> Marry the wrong wife and it'll hurt three generations. What did you say? Oh, you didn't fall asleep. <sighs> say something bad about Jia Yu and you perk up right away. What I said is true. Jia Yu isn't a lucky match. You see, her own family is bankrupt. And after she married our son, your liver started, causing a lot of problems, right? Shut up. She has nothing to do with my liver problems. But you're so ill now, look at you. Yet, where's your wonderful daughter-in-law, huh? <sighs> I told you. In this entire world, only I and your son really care about you. <sighs> look at how tired your son looks these days and how old my face has gotten. All right, that's enough talking. Haozi. Yeah? Listen carefully. A man who abandons his first wife won't end up well later on in life. So don't make any dumb decisions, do you understand? Yes. You've always wanted to kick me out of this family. Are you my first wife, dear? I... <sighs> okay, no, I'm not your first. But you don't care about me as much as you should. And now your daughter-in-law's learned from you. Had I known this earlier, when I was about to marry you, I'd... Good grief, shut up, would you? Change the subject. Mom. Helza, you're tired. Go back and rest. Sure. Mom, don't make him upset. Dad, I'm leaving. Hmm. Yeah, go ahead. Hmm. Where to? I want to get some fresh air. You can't go out. Why not? Darling. Hi, honey. I thought you wouldn't come, since you were busy. I visited father first. Sorry I'm late. <sighs> I was just thinking. If you didn't come beforehand, I'd call you to disturb you. <laughs> hmm? You still have to work tonight? There's too much work at the company recently. Hello? Secretary Jin? Hello? I think of a bad signal there. Hello? Yes, yes.
Darling. Honey? How come you're here? I thought you would stay with Father for a while. Mom is taking care of him. I have to look after my beautiful wife. Why did you go check on Father first? <laughs> it's okay. I'll wait until you go inside. <laughs> Thank you. We're ready to go inside now. It's fine. Relax, huh? Darling, I'm really scared. Don't worry. It'll be over soon. Relax, huh? <sighs> I'm really grateful to you. You're a good wife. Really. Hmm. Jayu, I love you. She needs to go in now. You must wait outside. Mr. Hu. Dr. Lin. <laughs> How was it? Your father's surgery was successful. He's been transferred <laughs> now to the ICU and can be transferred in a day or two. That's great. The liver donator is recovering and will be transferred to a room soon. Everything went well. <laughs> Thank you. Li Xiaoyu, sleep well. I'm going to take everything you have after you wake up. Oh, hang on. Hi, hello. Do you know where Zhou Xinyuan is at the moment? Oh, Xinyan? I know. Oh. Uh, She's in the library right now. Oh. Uh, I can take you there now if you want. There she is. Oh. Huh. My beloved daughter, so this is where you are. You have a warm-hearted schoolmate. Huh? Is she a good friend of yours? Let's go. Jaidu, I told you, never tell anyone. Why did you have to tell him? <laughs> Dad, I won't leave. Dad! Go! You... You... Where are you going, huh? Go! Oh, Dad, Dad, I'm not leaving! Go! I was found by my alcoholic father because of you. I couldn't continue my studies, as I had to make money for him to buy more alcohol. You are the reason. That I suffered so much. You completely ruined my life back then. And you took Halzo away from me. Someone tried to kill me! Someone tried to kill me! Someone wanted to kill me! Someone just tried to kill me! She was tricking my neck! 
It's okay. Calm down. After surgery, patients have dreams like that. It wasn't a dream. It was real. Somebody was just choking my neck. All right. Remain calm. If you keep moving so much, your wound will reopen. Then what? But I'm telling you the truth. Stay calm, huh? <gasps> Thirsty. Do you hear me? I'm thirsty! Oh my... Uh. Goodness. You scared me to death just now. Hey, did you try to scare me to death? You were snoring the entire night, so I didn't get any sleep at all. My head hurts. Oh... Jeez. Tell me you're thirsty. There's no need to yell at me. If I didn't yell, would you respond? The doctor said, after surgery, you can't have water. Here, let's get your lips wet. You're way too stubborn. Why did you ask all the nurses to leave? What's wrong with you? Why must I serve you? Hey, look at my face. Taking care of you is aging me quickly. How would you feel if I got sick too and had to stay here? Well, what else do you need to do? Huh? Except going to play golf. Get facials or beauty equipments. All you do is go shopping. You spend all my money. Is caring for me too much to ask? If you feel unhappy, just leave. Go! Who... who... who's unhappy? Where to? To dump the water. What's wrong? Need to use the restroom? Okay. Thank you so much. Was there really someone choking my neck? Hello. What's up? I'm scared, honey. So scared. Why are you acting like a kid? The surgery's done. What's wrong? No, dear. Someone wants to kill me. Kill you? I mean it, honey. It's really true. Someone was choking me by the neck last night. Did you maybe have a nightmare? Don't think too much. No, I thought it was just a dream. But then later, I discovered there were fingerprints on my neck. Thank you.